Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. Keep on. Whoa. Fossey tripod. You can come loose on me. Tighten this thing, huh? Sorry about that, folks. It's one of the be all loosey-goosey, so I had to tighten this thing, huh? We got some random figures to review this week. First on the list, we got this TMNT Rise figure. And this is Michelangelo. I finally got a Michelangelo and Donatello from the Rise of the Ninja Turtles. Yeah! The only ones I'm still missing is Raphael and Leonardo. And then I got the whole set of the Rise of the Ninja Turtles. And I like these so much, that's why I picked them up. They are definitely going in the Turtle Collection. For sure. Next on the list, we got this gimmick toy. Wrestler. I don't know the wrestler with this toy. But I bet many of you wrestling fans know who he is. If you know, leave me a comment. And he's got a little gimmick. You hit this button right here. And he launches off the thing. And I have to go dig that figure out after the review. See where he went off to. Next, we got these people figures. I don't know what line they're from, but they are kind of cool. They do got some articulation in the arms and legs, just not much. But I dig them. Ah, dig them. Got a firefighter and a construction dude. Ready to serve the United States. And junk. Next on the list, we got this Paw Patrol figure of Ryder in a scuba suit. So he's like a scuba suit rider. If I wanted to use him as uh, a custom G.I. Joe of... What's his name? I forget the scuba diver guy. But he's definitely cool. In a matter of speaking with the scuba suit. Next on the list, we got this Yeti figure. Rah! He is gruesome. He's missing the battery pack. The batteries and the uh, back part there. Articulation. Arms can do a full 360. Mouth doesn't move. Feet. Had some articulation. That's not much. He's going on my random monster shelf for sure. Next on the list, we got this thing from Minecraft. You shake it and it turns into different chemicals. Heal potion. Good, 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 good. Explosion potion. Boom. Yeah, I like this thing. It's so fun with the colors. Definitely going to be in my collection of novelties for sure. <laughs> Next is the last figure we got to review. And this is the 1997 Dark Magician Girl. The original figure. I don't have her accessories, but I got this figure for 50 bucks from eBay, so it's a 90s figure I got for 50 bucks. Not bad for eBay, if I do say so myself. And now we're going to do some epic comparisons. Here we got the original Yukio action figures, some in Skull, Blackluster Soldier. Dark Magician, Yugi Moto, the model kit, Dark Magician Girl. This one is a really good model kit, if I do say so myself. I'm just doing a huge comparison as I bring in all the figures I own from the original Yukio. And Dark Magician Girl just fell. Sorry about that, YouTube land. And these are the 90s figures. So we got Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And finally, Blue Eyes 
in a minifigure. It's Turbo Warrior from 5Ds. But just because they got magic formula. And this is my entire Yukio collection as of 2019. And this is an epic collection of Yukio figures. I own about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Yukio action figures. Collection is coming along nicely. If I do say so myself. So now we're going to put everything away, and we got one final thing to do. A TMNT Nickelodeon Leonardo build figure. And this is our build for the week. Why not? There I say, why not? Yep. We're going to pick up all these figures them out of the way and let's open up our blind bag here our leonardo build figure going to tear right there at the tear point and rip it open rip it open looks like it's very straightforward i do say so myself and i have not built anything this month so this will be a fun thing to do open the package and I might have to get my scissors. I'll be back. And I'm back with my trusty pair of scissors. When it comes to opening these brand new packages and they're stubborn, you use the scissors. Let's dump this out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. And this was made by Nickelodeon. So, this is an exclusive only to Nickelodeon. So, yep. Based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in the Half Shell Turtle Power. Them to be ninja teams. Ninja Turtles. They're heroes in the half shell and they're green. Ninja Turtles. When the evil Shredder attacks, these turtle bogs don't cut them no slack. Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Splinter taught them to be ninja teams. The turtles, they're heroes in the half shell, and they're green. The turtles, evil Shredder attacks. Bogs don't cut him no slack. Turtle power. Yep, I couldn't help the theme song from that cartoon, which I never saw. But I might make it on my goal to get that to watch just because I don't know anything about that cartoon. I given I like some classic cartoons as much as anyone does. That's probably why I might pick it up. And there we got the buddy. All done almost. Huh. Not a bad so far. It's pretty simple. And straightforward. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Turtles counting on one, two, three, four turtles. Mutant Chain Reaction Turtles living underground. Turtles in Jitsu Action Turtles. It's a shell of a time. One code of the martial arts. Do never fight unless someone else does. Three stick together no matter what. Four said it's time to kick butt. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I love being a turtle. 
I love that original TMNT theme song from my childhood. So I can't help but sing that when I think of turtles. But there we got the body. So far, so good. Huh. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. So far, so good. And I'm getting every step right, and that's pretty good by my standards, huh? Okay, let's follow the step to build the backpack, huh? A lot of banging up there. We're building a TMNT shell here. So far, it's easy peasy, lemon greasy. <laughs> a lot of banging, I'll tell you that much. Okay. And there, we got half the turtle of Leonardo all done. That's pretty cool. My standards. This is probably just an extra piece that has no use whatsoever. Yeah, it is. Let's start building Leonardo's head, huh? We need one of these jumper plates. Wow, they painted the little head. Look at that. They added painted details to the TMNT head. That's what you call well-cared craftsmanship. If I do say so myself. Usually figures like that don't include that. Figures like that just don't include that. They just skip that little detail. Okay. Oh, it's an optional eyepiece. Who would have funked, right? They gave me an optional eyepiece. That's cool. And there we got our little TMNT Leonardo. And ain't he a bundle of blocky precious? Aw. You're probably wondering, where can you find this item? I got this item straight from Dollar Tree for about a buck. And I think it's definitely worth a buck. Anything else would be paying too much for it. But I'm so glad to have another TMNT figures for my collection. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.